Exercise is not a drug against anything. It's a drug for health. And that's a hormetin. The word hormetin we use to point it out towards that. So the idea which was applied in aging research from about 25 years, 30 years ago, where my lab in Ohio uh, was one of the pioneers, was that repeatedly challenging the body with mild stress of choice in human beings that a word becomes very important, stress of choice, will stimulate compensatory adaptive mechanisms. And in order to stay in time, I will just rush through that, what are the basis of that? Why they get stimulated? Because we have basically these major seven intracellular stress responses. If anything induces the cell to respond by one or more of these pathways, that has potential to become hormetic. When UV light hits you, your DNA gets challenged or damaged, there are hundreds of DNA repair enzymes get activated. And I'm glad to know that Center for Healthy Aging Morton's group is using that as the search for millions of new compounds. Fantastic. But there are seven, six other pathways. There are antioxidants. When you have oxidative damage, antioxidant response comes in. When you have nutritional challenge, autophagy takes over. When you have inflammation. So all these processes are so well studied in molecular biology that you can choose what to follow it up. All these so-called antioxidants, they are Majority of them are pro-oxidants, but the effect is antioxidative because the NRF2 gets activated and hundreds of them antioxidative genes take over. So there is huge amount of data available on that. Based on that, we call hormetins for health fall under three categories. Physical hormetins, exercise I already gave you example, data from radiation, biology, data from uh, hypoxia, about uh, again heat and cold stress, then there are mental hormetins, a lot of the stuff we do by mental exercise, cognitive exercise, they are hormetic. But most of the research is going on on what we call the supplementary or nutritional hormetins. All the things in the food which are often good for us are actually good because they are horribly poisonous. All spices come under that category. Why are they good? Because they are bad. And we call, call them antioxidants? No, 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 they are hormetins. Even fasting, calorie restriction. So in our labs, in Ohus, in the last 25 years, we have done huge amounts of work. They are all published, so I'm not going to show even a single slide on that. Just to make this idea available to the industry, to researchers, that look, you can discover new hormetins at any level. Now, for example, at the moment, all these major compounds being tested whether that's a fisetin as a synolytic or curcumin or quercetin, uh, even, even metformin, Maria, I would like to make a comment. Uh, metformin, metformin kills old cells more quickly. Isn't that your data? Yeah, that's a synolytic then it becomes. Yeah, it's not bad. So anyway, well, that's a part of discussion. That's a signal. So nutritional hormetins is a big area. The problem with the hormetic theory so far is because there also we usually pick one stress pathway at a time. But in reality, it doesn't work like that. So in our labs, we have done that, that if you give heat shock as a hormetin, so heat shock response is the first one and the primary. But then the remaining six also respond at different kinetics and to different, even sometimes negative. So we try to create hormetic stress profiles of all the pathways. Like if you fast, yes, autophagy will be the first one. But then what happens to other responses? Without that, we cannot create a health profile measurement device or something. So this is one way which we will need to do if you want to get into hormetic research, how to study stress profiles of a healthy and a more healthy and less healthy and a diseased uh, individual. So a few years ago, I have written this protocol for any industry that if you want to discover new hormetins, how that should be brought about. How do you start with your compound? How do you check for various stress hormones? And some of the industry which has taken, actually initiative has been paradoxically cosmetics, which are not supposed to do anything actually. So, but cosmetic industry has been developing hormetic uh, interventions, but they don't openly are able to say that, except one company who says that. So hormetin for health, not targeting any specific disease, just like exercise is not targeted against a disease, it will never cure a disease. 
It will try to give your whole system its own way to manage health and improve health. And that itself is a big issue. What is health? So I'm just giving these three latest books from our book series on three and hormesis. How do we talk about health? How do we measure health? What are the foods, the role, etc.? But in my understanding, after having lifelong research career in aging, I think we have to talk in aging about how to improve health. It doesn't mean that we don't need these anti-disease approaches. Disease approaches are they are acute, they are needed now, that's a matter of life and death for an individual, but if we want to do anything about aging, please think in terms of how it will help me to improve health, and that area will be more acceptable to the public also. Anti-aging slogans don't work. They just frighten me. Oh, otherwise this disease and that disease. I think I have used up my time. Thank you very much. <laughs>